stipulated time in solving each of the problems when you are attempting problems in a competitive exam so the problem lies in identifying what type of uh, differential equation is it uh, so this is the last problem that we have attempted uh consider the differential equation sin 2x dy by dx is equal to 2y plus 2 cos x and y of pi by 4 is given then which of the following statements is or this is an msq actually so we have checked this and we have uh we have done this problem this was the last problem because i have it in my note this was the last problem that we have done i think bounded we have checked the boundedness yeah so the differential equation given is y minus x into dy by dx is equal to 1 so the condition given here is it uh, the solution passes through 0 0 and alpha 1 we have to find that unknown alpha this is an mcq so let us start doing so we have dx So I've written it in the form m d x plus n d y. Sorry. M d x plus n d y is equal to uh, zero. So you know m is equal to one. N is equal to x minus y. So this is not an exact differential equation. So you have to find an integrating factor to make it exact. So I think this will work. Do n by do x minus do m by do y by m. That is actually one. I can consider this as a function of y. So the integrating factor I have explained last time. So I'm not going into the theory. So it is e raised to integral. Uh, 1 dy with that is equal to e raised to y. So you got the integrating factor. That means I have to multiply. Integrating factor is that term with which when you multiply the differential equation, it becomes exact. So I multiply. This is my differential equation. I multiply this equation. So it's e raised to y dy, dx plus. Now it is clear, no? There's no there's no interruption in the sound, right? Is it okay now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's okay. clear. Okay. Yeah. Please do tell me because I'm not able to understand. For me, last time it was coming, uh, the, the vibration, even I could uh, feel it last time, but this time I'm not getting any disturbance as such. So this is my differential equation now. And as per the definition of integrating factor, this has to be an exact differential equation. That is what integrating factor means. Now you know how to solve the integral, different, integral sorry, an exact differential equation. Ma'am, please repeat. Integral, yeah. See, any time you write a differential equation, it has been write, uh, written as m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. In this form, this is a standard form which I told you to check for exactness. So m is that term which comes with dx and n is that term or function which comes with dy. So you have to check dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If they are equal, then it is exact. And then your solution is integral m dx plus integral n dy. That is only the terms which is not containing x is equal to the solution so first in any time you have to check the exact yeah any time you have to check exactness but uh, you see that it's not equal so i can say this is not equal so not exact not exact means the next step is to make it exact that's the only way and i've given you four uh, four of um, so we found that the equation is not exact so we will we will find the integrating factor. So I've given you four methods of finding the integrating factor uh, in the last class. So either dou n by dou x minus dou f by dou y by m should be a function of y. Then the integrating factor is e raised to integral f y dy. Or else dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x by n should be a function of x. In that case, e raised to integral f x dx will be uh, an integrating factor. Or else then you have two more uh, different methods. So whenever we get come across those problems, then I'll explain. So here I have found that dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y by m. Uh, it's a constant. So you can consider it as a function of y. And uh, so e raised to integral 
f y d y that is one d y is the integrating factor. So integrating factor means you have to multiply that equation with this factor, so it becomes exact. So you know the solution. Just for this problem, I am writing the solution of an exact differential equation. Solution is given as integral m d x plus integral n d y. So in that you have to consider only the terms free of x. From n, you have to take only the terms which is free of x, which is equal to c. This will be the solution. So in this, this is my equation now. So this is my m. This is my n. So from n, you have to take only those terms which does not contain x. So here it will be e raised to y dx plus. In this, there is only one term which is not containing. is minus y e raised to y dy x term you will have to ignore you have to do integration by parts first function in integral of second minus derivative of first into integral of second so you get the solution as e raised to y into x minus y plus 1 is equal to c you are given a condition here to find uh, i is given that it passes through 0 0 and alpha 1 so it passes through 0 0 means Uh, you can substitute x equal to zero and y equal to zero, so you get c is equal to. So substituting zero zero gives you c is equal to one. So my solution is so it's given. It also passes through alpha one. This is where you have to find what alpha is. So it is given here one by one by e is the answer. So again, while finding integrating factors, you can use any of the four rules which I have given in the last class, or else you can, by inspection, also sometimes you can uh, find the integrating factor. See, integrating factor uh, for a differential equation is not unique. You can have more than one integrating factors uh, for a given differential equation. Okay, the only condition is you have to give me a function uh, which will, in x and y. Which will make that equation exact. That's the only meaning of integrating factor. So you can have more than one integrating factors also. That means if I ask you to give me an integrating factor, you can give me different functions that will make it exact. So next is to find the integrating factor. That's a direct question actually. dy by dx is equal to 2xy square plus y. Divided by x minus two y cube. You can use any technique. You can just multiply, but multiplying and checking whether it is exact will definitely uh, take more time. So you can use any of the technique that I've given. So normally we go in the order uh, which I have given. That is would be the easiest way. Homogeneous only you can identify, but this is not a homogeneous differential equation. So definitely you have to go to any other. Uh, three methods which I have given you. So write it in m d x plus n d y form. That's the first thing that you can do. That means identify m and n. That's it. So it is x minus two y cube into d y is equal to 
2xy square plus y into dx. I told you the standard form is mdx plus mdy is equal to 0. This is a direct question. Can you do it? Is it an exact differential equation? Definitely it would not have been because the integrating factor is what is asked and the options are also given. So definitely it is not dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. Anyway, you will have to find because in order to find the integrating factor also you need this expression. But you can see actually when you uh, have to find the integrating factor, the two formula that you have is dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x by n is a function of x or is the other way dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y by m is a function of y. So actually you can see that when you subtract n, just by observing these uh, terms you will be able to get a hint. So I think this is the same way that we have done last problem. This will help you because you can see m, this is my m, you will get a common term here. So this is nothing but minus 1 minus of this, so it is in, uh, minus 4xy divided by your uh, m is y plus 2xy square. You can see there is a common term y coming out. One. So always observe these expressions and try whether you subtract you are able, able to get a common term from here either x term or y term. So accordingly you can take the difference. So this has to be a function of y or else dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x by n should be a function of x. So both the things you can just observe the terms and find out so that you can do it quickly. So this is a function of y which is exactly what we want as per that rule. So my integrating factor will be e raised to integral of minus 2 by y dy. It's equal to uh, minus y raised to minus 2, that's 1 by y square. These are all actually direct questions only. I think the next one is an MSQ. The initial value problem y dash is equal to root y with y of 0 is equal to alpha, alpha greater than or equal to 0 has at least two solutions if alpha is equal to 0, no solution if uh, alpha greater than 0, at least one solution if alpha greater than 0 and a unique solution if alpha is equal to 0. So anyway, first thing is you have to find the solution. Then only you can um, uh, you can check all these conditions. y dash is equal to root y, that means dy by dx is equal to root y. You can write it as this variable separable actually. You have to just integrate both sides. So the solution will be
So let us find uh, C first. So we'll check one by one the conditions when alpha is equal to zero. When alpha is equal to zero, what's happening? C will become zero. So you get this as a solution. Or four y is equal to x square. Y is equal to x square by four. Can you tell me which are the two uh, two answers for this? We have got the solution. Ma'am, option C and D. At least one solution if alpha is uh, greater than zero. Options A and D. Ah, correct. Options A and C, no. You get two solutions actually when alpha is equal to zero. See, when alpha is equal to zero, y x equal to zero is also a solution because it is. See, if you are taking alpha is equal to zero, so y of zero is zero. No, that is given condition. This is so. I think A and C is the solution, right? When alpha greater than zero, C is two root alpha. Uh, next is a problem on arc length. You you do you know the formula for arc length of a given equation y equal to f x? Ma'am. From a to b. Ma'am. Root of one plus f ten. Yeah, integral a to b. Square root of one plus f dash f two. Correct, correct, correct. This is the formula to find the arc length. Yes. Ma'am, please explain why for alpha equal to zero we get at least two solutions. Yeah. See, there are two conditions. No, see, you have. See, this is the case. This is the case that you have got uh, two root y. This is the solution. Two root y is equal to x plus c, and uh, you have to solve for uh, c. The given condition is y of zero is equal to uh, alpha. So you get your c as two root alpha. So you get this becomes your solution. Two root y is equal to x plus
y of 0 is equal to 0. I'll again give you c is equal to 0, the same solution only, no? Wait. 4y is equal to x square, so y is equal to x square by 4. Actually, you're getting only one solution, right? Sorry. So, for well, y is equal to x square by 4 because your c will become 0. So, what should be the answer? At least one solution for uh, alpha greater than zero and a unique solution for alpha is equal to zero, right? Correct. Yes, ma'am. For yeah. c equal to zero. Yeah, correct. Yes, 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 yes. C is equal to zero, you're going to get the same solution. Right. So here you are asked to find the value of L actually. So the next problem is to Find the value of L correct up to three decimal places. So you have numerical entries also, no, in jam. One question. This is of that type. So dx by dy is given to you. So here it's just the uh, your equation is given as dy instead of dy by dx, it's given as x dash. So that is okay. You can use the same formula, and the x uh, limits has to be given accordingly. That's it. So here the values of y limits are given. So this is the x limits if you you will give if you know dy by dx or else you can use the formula y equal to a to b this is the other other case so first uh, let's use this formula the limits are given to you 1 to 3 root of 1 plus so this is nothing but uh, y square plus 1 the whole square
So this is the answer. You can uh, find it correct to three places of decimals because you have to enter the numerical value here. So what's the answer that you're getting? Are you getting the same answer? So this is a problem which is not an MCQ or MSQ. We don't have options to check. Yes, ma'am, same answer. Yeah. So you can just find uh, the value of log three and then approximate it to three places of decimals and then write it. This is again a similar problem. For ABC element of R, uh, real numbers, if the differential equation AX squared plus BXY plus Y squared DX plus 2X squared plus CXY plus Y squared DY is equal to 0 is exact. Then this is one kind of problem that you can expect always. Either for numerical entries or else uh, for MCQs. You have to just use the condition dou M by dou Y is equal to dou M by This is the condition that you have to check. Always write it in the standard form. Don't uh, miss out the negative number. This is where uh, normally mistakes come. M is AX squared plus BXY plus Y squared and N is equal to 2X squared plus CXY plus Y squared. Answer B, ma'am. Just equate B is equal to 4 and C is equal to 2. B is the answer. See, the next next question is actually uh, coming, I don't know how it has come and passing through the origin. So how can you enter the equation? So I think it should have been an MCQ, but um, this uh, options are not there in the question when, when I've copied down. Uh, see, first you need to identify what kind of an equation is it. It is actually um, Bernoulli's. Bernoulli's means reducible to uh, linear. We have discussed about it in the last class. As I told you, there is Bernoulli's and Legenders actually coming, which is reducible to linear. So you have exact, see variable separable and homogeneous comes uh, in the first type. After that, you check for exactness. In exactness, if it's not exact, you have four ways to find the integrating factor and make it to exact differential equation. In the same way, uh, you have linear differential equations. If you can identify directly, you can write the solution. If not, you have equations which are called Bernoulli's and Legenders actually, which are reducible to linear differential equations. This is one of that kind. So only if you write it in the standard form, you will be able to understand whether it gives you that form. Because just by observing the function as it is given in the question, it may not be easy for you to identify. That's the only problem when you uh, have uh, the problem that you're going to face when you are solving first order uh, ordinary differential equation. When you go to higher order, this problem uh, is not there. There is a proper algorithm 
uh, by which you can solve the second order or higher order differential equations. This is a step by step method. And at each step, you can check whether this condition holds and then you can go for it. Then you can directly write the, I can give you shortcuts. But here, shortcuts are there to write the solution. But first, identifying the equation is the first part. If you identify it correctly, then you can directly write the solution. So for this equation, sine y into b y by dx is equal to cos y into 1 minus x cos y. So this is nothing but cos y minus x cos square y. So actually, if you put cos y as some variable u, then you will see sin y into dy by dx becomes du by dx. So this will be see, having a constant is not going to create any problem. You can just take it to the other side. So when I go for the substitution, this entire part becomes du by dx actually. Again, it's becoming Bernoulli's only. Or else I can write du by dx is equal to, why I'm writing this in the standard form is so that you can directly write the solution and identify what kind of a differential equation is it. So it is du by dx plus u is equal to x u square. So this is actually Bernoulli's. That means I can just divide by u square and go for another substitution, it becomes a linear differential equation. So I get 1 by u square du by dx plus 1 by u is equal to x. So it is actually, so I can put 1 by, y, one by u is equal to some uh, v, so it becomes linear in, that's it. Actually, you have done two substitutions. You have to remember it because you have to come back to the original solution. So it is minus dv by dx plus v is equal to x. Or else dv by dx, now it's linear. So your linear form, if you remember, it is something like this, standard form. dy by dx plus py is equal to q. So here, P and Q are considered to be functions of X alone. So now this is linear in V. Your P is minus 1 and Q is, if I'm going with this equation, so Q is minus X. So the solution is, you can directly write the solution once you identify the linear uh, differential equation. So V into an integrating factor. Integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx. e raised to minus x. So v into integrating factor, this is your solution. v into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx. I've given this last time. We've done one problem also, I think. So it is v into e raised to minus x is equal to integral minus x into e raised to minus x dx plus c. And again, integration by parts. c raised to minus x plus e raised to minus x plus c. Now you have to go back to v. v is 1 by u. So, and uh, u is cos y. So it is e raised to minus x divided by cos y is equal to x e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus x plus c. I think there is one condition given to find this unknown. 
that's passing through the origin 0 0 i of 0 is equal to 0 is given so if i substitute i'll get c cos 0 is 1 so 1 is equal to 1 plus c c is equal to 0 So your solution is e raised to minus x by cos y e raised to minus x into x plus y. C is zero. I can simplify this e raised to minus x. So you can write sec y is equal to x plus y. next problem is also to find the integrating factor this is again the similar problem should we do it you can give me the answer for this finding the integrating factor next question question number 12 it's given in the standard form you don't have to worry only thing you have to be careful is this identifying your mn and correctly m is the term that is coming with dx and n is the term that is coming with dy as per the formula if you are going And if there is a minus here, you have to consider n as negative of this. These are the common errors that students make. What's the answer? Do m by do y is two x plus three x square plus eighteen y, and do n by do x. In y square, no. Two x plus three x square plus eighteen y square. I think uh, you can see the uh, when I when I subtract, no, two x will go and whatever what remains is this, and you can see this is having a common term with your n. So it has to be do m by do y minus do n by do x y. That's how I identify. So the difference should have some common term with any of these two. So accordingly, you can decide which one you have to choose. So this becomes three x square plus eighteen y square. You know, three is common there. It will give you the denominator. So that is three. So you can consider this as a Function of x. X. Yeah. So your integrating factor is e raised to integral three dx. That's nothing but e raised to three x. See, first order is for me. I feel like for students also. more time consuming would be first order differential equation compared to higher order differential equation because identifying is the first part you may have to reduce it you if it's not exact you have to reduce it into exact or linear bernoullis or legendas means twice the substitution comes so all those things has to be taken care of if you don't identify it properly then it goes wrong whereas in higher order you will not find this much difficulty Can you tell me what that differential equation is? This one, next one. If you identify it correctly, I think you can do it because for once you identify, there is a proper step-by-step -step method of solving differential equations, even if it is first order. You have to identify it. Bernoulli. I think this is also Bernoulli. It looks like Bernoulli is the way it is given. We'll have to just rearrange it and see, yeah. Whether uh, I think because you have y raised to five here, I 
and uh, y raised to 6 it will come here no so definitely you can go for a substitution here so that y raised to 5 dy by dx will become some uh, dv by dx so that way you can so suppose i write it in this way then it becomes easy for you to tell me at least see anyway for uh, bernoullis or legendars or uh, legendars is a general case of bernoullis only but um, is what you have want on the right hand side is if it's dy by dx you are considering or trying to make it in linear in y your other function which is on the right hand side should be a function of x so try to write it as only the function of x on the right hand side then it will give you some hint to identify uh, what substitution you should make so here since y raised to 6 comes here and y raised to 5 dy by dx comes here that means if i differentiate this i'm going to get this term this is what you want for substitution any time for bernoullis or um legendars or whatever so you're trying to reduce it into linear so whatever substitution you make the new variable that you try to introduce you're trying to make it linear in that variable so whatever substitution you make its derivative should come here so if i put y raised to 6 is equal to v i get uh, y raised to 5 dy by dx as dv by dx so the equation reduces now So this is dv by dx plus phi by 6x into v is equal to 5x raised to 4. So now see this is, this is exactly what you want. No, it's now linear in v. This so you can if you want. Don't want this uh, five by six here. Six you can take here. Okay, not required. Just for you to make your uh, integrating factor look good compared to. So this is exactly this is your p, and this is your q. It is linear in v now. Ma'am, in the previous line we have to write. One by six uh, dv dx. Ha! Huh, correct. There's a constant coming now. The six was there in the question. Yes. One by six into du by dx. So I forgot that. See, constant is not going to create any problem anyway. So this is what you have. So one by six, I should write. Yes, I forgot it. So one by six is coming common. You can take it to the other side. A constant multiple will not create any problem. That you can divide or multiply throughout and get rid of that. Do all those manipulations before you go to the exact formula. So integrating factor is e raised to integral phi by x dx. X raised to phi. Correct. X raised to phi. So you can directly write the solution. It's v into integrating factor is equal to integral of q into the integrating factor. Integrating factor into q dx plus c. So v into x raised to five is equal to thirty. It's x raised to nine coming. So x raised to ten by ten. So it's three x raised to ten. So what was v? V was uh, uh, y raised to six. No, that we have substituted. So y raised to six, x raised to five, is equal to three x raised to ten plus c. Condition is given. Y of y of one is equal to one. That will give you your c. C equal to minus two. Correct. C is equal to minus two. So I think instead of solving the question, would have been if you have to integrate. So find the value of C. If you have to enter the numerical value, so C is equal to minus two is your answer. 
this could be since and see it's not the options are not given i think it comes in your numerical part wherein you have to enter the numerical value maybe c would have been asked in this question so only problem when you have a uh, first order differential equation is in identifying it properly that's it once you write it in the standard form i think you will get an get a hint of uh, what kind of substitution you have to go into etc if y raised to a is an integrating factor of the differential equation find the value of a again it's a similar problem finding an integrating factor we have seen so many problems in the sense every year i should say one question definitely is coming on integrating factor because after every three or four questions we are getting an integrating factor question and i think we have solved linear linear or reducible to linear also in every every a set of 3 or 4 i think so in every question paper you can expect one on linear or uh, reducible to linear that means either legenders legenders you may have to go for two substitutions uh, or bernoulli's bernoulli's is only a special case of legenders this is similar problem you can give me the answer for this so this is again given in the standard form if it's given in the standard form again it's uh, it's a little bit simplified for you people so when you are writing n don't forget this minus sign ma'am option b correct a is equal to so you are given that this is a different this is this is uh, y raised to a is an integrating factor that means when you multiply by y raised to a this should become exact correct so if i am multiplying both by y raised to a this should become exact that means this should give you dou m by uh, dou y is equal to dou n by dou x that means this is a plus 1 this becomes a plus 2 into y raised to a this should be exact This is what you have to. Yes. In this case, do m by do y. You can equate to do n by do x. That's the the concept of exactness is only used while you are finding the integrating factor. can you explain me ma'am which one this one you have to you, you want me to explain okay so this is the equation given to you and the question says y raised to a is an integrating factor the meaning of saying y raised to a is an integrating factor is if i multiply this equation by y raised to a throughout it should become an exact differential equation so you can see if i multiply this throughout by y raised to a what i'm going to get is 2x y raised to a into y that is y raised to a plus 1 and then this becomes 3x square into y raised to a this becomes y raised to a plus 2 so this should be when i multiply this equation by y raised to a it has to be an exact differential equation so your mnn after multiplying with y raised to a is going to be this this is going to be your m and n after i multiply it by the integrating factor the meaning is after multiplying with the integrating factor this has to be exact that's the property of or or the meaning of integrating factor that means do m by do y should be equal to do n by do x so just equate so multiply sorry find do m by do y and do n by do x and equate what is do m by do y do m by do y is A plus one into two x into y raised to a. Correct. Two x. When I find do n by do x, this term becomes zero. So 
So this has to be equal because it's exact. No, you have multiplied with your integrating factor. That means this has to be exact. So you get two a plus one is equal to six. So a plus one is equal to three, or a is equal. To, what did you get? What answer did you give me? Three minus one two is not given. No, I made a mistake. Is there a plus or minus mistake that I have made? Yes, there is a minus here. Now. Is minus one clear? So here it's given in general solution. I don't know how it came in jam. In jam, do you have uh, answers to write as the entire solution? I don't know, but at least we can discuss what kind of a differential equation it is. It because any kind of uh, differential equation of first order can come. Can you tell me uh, whether you can? Y minus x dy by dx is equal to dy by dx into y square e raised to y. Or else, if I simplify, this you can check for exactness. Actually, it is m dx plus m dy it will come. Is it an exact differential equation? Just the way it is written itself, you know, do m by do y cannot be equal to do n by do x, right? It's not exact. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So after doing few problems, you know, continuously, you will be able to know, uh, see which uh, sequence you should use in checking the conditions, or else by observing itself, you will be able to fi find.
What's the solution that you're getting? Your m becomes one by y then. You're uh, multiplying by one by y square. So, and you have to consider only the terms independent of x. Only this you will consider. So, integral y dy, e raised to y. So, there is a minus. What kind of a differential equation is the second one? dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y plus, this is a standard form. Huh? Standard form, you remember, reducible to uh, homogeneous? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, this is a standard form. See, once it is given in the standard form, you can just directly go for the substitution. So you have to put a, x is equal to x plus h and y is equal to y plus k. It's a lengthy problem, actually. So you're making this homogeneous by uh, equating these two terms in the bracket as zero. So you have to solve them separately and find h and k. I think you get k is equal to, I've solved it. Three. Is it three or minus three? It's minus 3, ma'am. Minus 3, no? You get h plus 2k is equal to minus 8 and 2h plus k is equal to minus 7. This is the equation that you have to solve. So you get k is equal to minus 3 and h is equal to minus 2. This is only for resubstitution or back substitution that you're finding it and keeping. You're getting dy by dx is equal to x plus 2y by 2x plus y, which is homogeneous. So for homogeneous, there's a standard procedure that you know. You have to put y is equal to vx. So dy by dx becomes v plus x into dv by dx, product rule. This becomes v plus x into dv by dx is equal to 
x plus 2vx divided by 2x plus vx. So x goes this becomes 1 plus 2v by 2 plus v. So x dv by dx you can write as minus v. So 1 plus 2v minus 2v minus v square divided by 2 plus v. So it's 1 minus v square by 2 plus v. Again, homogeneous or reducible to homogeneous anyway, you are doing the substitution to make it variable separable. So there, that that group which comes in the first part actually, uh, the variable separable, then homogeneous, reducible to homogeneous, that means homo non-homogeneous. Non-homogeneous or homogeneous, you are reducing it into variable separable. Just like uh, if not exact, you are reducing everything to exact. Then you have the third part actually linear and reducible to linear. It's always like that. So variable separable or reducible to variable separable is the first part you can consider. Second part is exact or reducible to exact. And the third you can consider linear or reducible to linear. In order to integrate this, you have to separate this into partial fractions actually. Now you can integrate. First make it in the integrable form. See this as such. It's not, and then you can rewrite this also okay, to integrate, not necessarily partial fractions. So this you can consider as log c so that it is easy for you to simplify. I think out of this reducible to linear type and uh, this non-homogeneous, that means reducing to ho homogeneous part, that this is the lengthier one. And there's no shortcuts also for that. Can simplify this.
this is So after solving, you have to resubstitute. Okay. First for V and then uh, for capital uh, X and Y. So you have already found it as your K and uh, H. You have already found out that you can substitute. So your solution is x plus y plus 5 by x minus y minus 1 whole cube is equal to c. Wow. Such a lengthy part. Uh, next problem, consider the differential equation dy by dx is equal to a y minus b y square. Uh, can you identify now what kind of a differential equation is it? Bernoulli, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, Bernoulli. That means reducible to linear, yes. Only when you write it in the standard form, you will be able to easily identify it. Because I told you, you can, uh, whenever the derivative, that is how you go for substitution. When you have a function here and its derivative comes together with dy by dx, then you can go for that substitution. So you can actually substitute minus 1 by y or else 1 by y. It's all the same. So this becomes this is now linear dv by dx plus av is equal to b. So your integra integrating factor is equal to e raised to ax. So your solution is b into e raised to ax is equal to integral b into e raised to ax dx plus c. So you are given this is nothing but b by a e raised to ax plus c. So you are given y of 0 is equal to y naught, some constant y naught. So you get what is your um, B, B was 1 by y, right? So it is e raised to ax by y. So 1 by y naught is equal to c 
is equal to 1 by y naught minus b by a. So your solution becomes e raised to x by y is equal to b by a e raised to ax. In the place of c, you have 1 by y naught minus b by a. So what is the question? The question is, as x tends to infinity, the solution tends to. So as x tends to infinity, what happens to your y? That's the question. To write it as e raised to minus x, otherwise you cannot substitute. What happens to your y? y will tend to, 1 by y will tend to b by a, right? Or y will tend to a by b. This is MCQ only, not R. It's only state which of the statements is true. Differential equation is linear. Differential equation is exact. E raised to x plus y is an integrating factor. Then... Uh, so many things you have to check. A suitable substitution transform the differential equations in differential equation into variable separable form. I don't think the differential equation is exact. It's by observing itself. Dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x will not be the same. One is one and the other one will come to. Is it linear? No, it is also not linear. dy by dx if you write. No, you cannot write it. As dy by dx plus py is equal to this one. So a and b is ruled out. e raised to x plus y is an integrating factor of the differential equation is what you have to check. So multiply by e raised to x plus y and see whether dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. That's the third thing that you can do. e raised to x plus y, your m becomes e raised to x plus y into x plus y plus 1. And n becomes e raised to x plus y into 2x, I don't think that will become so. Will it become uh, equal, dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x? I don't think, no, it will not. So that's not an integrating factor. It is given an integrating factor. A suitable substitution of the differential equation. Suitable substitution transforms the differential equation to a variable separable. I think that that we can try because this x plus y, this is this is common here, no x plus y. So this becomes 2 into x plus y. Suppose I substitute some other variable for that. See, this is my differential equation. I think 4 is, 4 is correct. So x plus y plus 1, it has to be because first 3 is anyway ruled out. So 4 has to be correct. Uh, even otherwise, you see 2x plus 2y plus 1. You can see this term here having a common factor. So I think that substitution should work. So if I put some, this as z, so dy by dx is equal to dz by dx. Sorry, I made a mistake. 1 plus dy by dx is equal to dz by dx. It's 
coming now. This becomes variable separable. So D is correct. If k is a constant such that x y plus k is equal to e raised to x minus one the whole square by two, satisfies uh, the differential equation x d y by d x is equal to x square minus x into y plus x minus one, then k is. That means this is the solution. x y plus k is equal to e raised to x minus one. The whole square by two is a solution for the given differential equation. You have to find k. So let us differentiate this and then equate both.
From here, I get y is equal to <laughs> you have to just compare also. The differential equation representing the family of circles touching the y-axis at the origin. What's the answer? I, I have not checked this actually. See, I think they are talking about orthogonal trajectories. Uh, representing the family of circles touching the y-axis. at the origin. Ha, huh. we have to just write the general equation and it's form the differential equation. I think uh, they are asking about this family of uh, circles touching the y-axis at the origin. This is touching the x-axis, it's the other way. Something like this. Some a. The equation of this, uh, uh, this is x minus a, the whole square plus y square is equal to a square. This is the family of circles. x square minus 2x plus a square plus y square is equal to a square. So, x square plus y square minus 2x is equal to 0. So differentiate 2x plus 2y into dy by dx minus 2a is equal to 0. So 2x plus 2y into dy by dx, you have to eliminate a, right? So what is A? From here you can get A. A is x square plus y square by 2x. What kind of a differential equation is it? The order is first order. It's first order only. Is it linear or linear? Is it linear or non-linear? Non-linear, ma'am. Non-linear. First order, not linear. So write the standard form and then differentiate and eliminate the uh, constants there. We'll get the differential equation. This is your numerical, I think. You have to find y naught, right? dy by dx minus y is equal to 1 minus e raised to minus x. It's a linear differential equation. Straight away, it's given in the form only. dy by dx 
plus p y is equal to q form. So this is a numerical type problem wherein you have to find the uh, limited case as x tends to infinity. So you have to find the solution. Solution it's easy because it's directly given. Uh, it's a linear difference. See, once it is exact or linear directly or variable separable. So those are the three types which has directly a direct formula to solve and get the equation. So your integrating factor will be e raised to minus x, correct? So it is y into e raised to minus x is equal to integral e raised to minus x into 1 minus e raised to minus x dx plus c is your solution. So it's y e raised to minus x is equal to e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus 2x dx. So I can multiply throughout by e raised to x. So this becomes y is equal to I think some condition is given, no? y of 0 is equal to y naught, some constant. So y naught is equal to half minus 1 plus c. You have terms e raised to x and e raised to minus x. It's given that it's finite, right? Uh, this is finite as x tends to infinity. So given limit x tends to infinity, y is finite. So if it has to be finite, this has to be zero, right? There's no other way. That implies y naught plus half should be zero. Or y naught is equal to minus half. There's no other way. As you have both e raised to minus x and e raised to x coming. So that term involving e raised to x has to be zero that is y naught plus half so y naught is equal to minus half this is a numerical question wherein you have to enter the value of y naught see again an integrating factor question has come integrating factor of x dy by dx plus 3x plus 1 y that is a linear differential equation okay not uh, see linear differential equation also uh, you are reducing to exact and then solving yeah. So you have to just rewrite and find out what P is, then it's, this is also a direct question. So this is my equation, x into dy by dx plus 3x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to x into e raised to minus 2x. dy by dx plus 3x plus 1 means 3 plus 1 by x dx sorry what did i do so your p is 3 plus 1 by x so your integrating factor for the linear differential equation, this is linear. Integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx. 
is equal to e raised to integral 3 plus 1 by x dx. Is equal to e raised to 3x plus log x. So I can write this as e raised to 3x into e raised to log x. That's x. So x e raised to 3x. x e raised to 3x is your integrating factor. So once it is linear, actually, whenever it's linear also, you are uh, finding the integrating factor and making it exact and then writing the solution. But instead, we are directly having a formula of uh, y into integrating factor is integra integral of um, q into integrating factor dx plus c. So that's actually derived from your original equation only. This is yx be the solution of a differential equation x raised to 4 dy by dx plus 4x cube y plus sin x is equal to 0 and y of pi is equal to 1 for x positive then y of pi by 2. Again you have to find the solution. I think this is also a linear differential equation. You have, yeah, I am seeing only one y there. That's all our functions of x. You can uh, divide throughout by x raised to 4 it becomes it's linear only it's also direct linear see direct linear and direct uh, exact and all it's uh, very easy x raised to 4 dy by dx plus 4x cube y equal to minus sin x i can write if i want it in the standard form so it is dy by dx plus 4 by x into y So it's of the form dy by dx plus p y is equal to q exactly linear only. So your integrating factor is e raised to integral 4 by x dx. It's nothing but x raised to 4. So your solution is y into x raised to 4 is equal to integral of x raised to 4 into minus sin x by x raised to 4 dx plus c. So this is cos, cos x. x plus c. Correct. Y into x raised to 4 is equal to cos x plus c. And it's uh, c you have to find out. Y pi is given. So pi raised to 4 is equal to cos pi is minus 1 plus c. So c is equal to pi raised to 4 plus 1. So your y is... y into x raised to 4 is equal to y into x raised to 4 is equal to cos x plus pi raised to 4 plus 1. So now you are asked to find y of pi by 2. Right? Yes. So this is pi raised to 4 by raised to 4 cos pi by 2 is 0 option D correct option option D no yes ma'am yeah. option D correct 16 into pi raised to 4 plus 1 so this is D Consider the ordinary difference. This is also linear. No? X dy by dx plus 4y is equal to x0 less than x less than 1. Which of the following? Uh, this is an MSQ. Uh, yx is equal to x by 2. Yx is equal to x by 2. Which of the following are the solutions to the above? X dy by dx plus 4y. It's also linear only. Integrating factor just now we have found. Huh? Same integrating factor.
Yeah, none of the options, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's an error. X cannot take zero also. Zero to one. None of the solution, none of the options are coming as solution. Oh, this is a numerical question again. If xt is the solution to differential equation dx by dt is equal to x square t cube plus xt for t greater than 0 satisfying x of 0 is equal to 1, then the value of x root 2, correct to two decimal places. It's again a linear differential equation. No. Not linear. So we get dx by dt is equal to x square t cube plus x t. Knowledge again. V or Y, Y is not there. Now we can put Y. I made a mistake. It's dx by dt only given now. So I'll have to multiply the other way. I made a mistake. I will have it. I have dx by dt here, so I love to write one by x square dx by dt. Right, no?
What's the solution? It's linear in y now. We raise to t square. T square by two, no? No, the answer you are saying. No, ma'am. Ah, oh, yeah. Integrating factor, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, correct. Y into e raised to t square by two is equal to integral. I think you will have to go for substitution. Y D Y Y D T correct. Second right as minus. Can put the y square as t. In order to integrate this, I can put t square by 2 is equal to some a. So t dt becomes a. So this will become integral. There is minus, there is no minus, no, it's plus. So the integral is minus 2 into a is t square by 2. t square by 2 e raised to t square by 2. So I can write it as common term now. Is this your integral? We can write this as y is equal to minus 2 so y is what you have substituted what was y y was 1 by x right what's the answer that is coming Oh, it's the value of root 2. You have to put t is equal to root 2. x of root 2 is your question. So put t is equal to root 2 and solve. C raised to minus 5. C raised to e, e power minus 1. becomes e raised to minus 2, right? Ma'am, isn't it 1 minus 1? This becomes, ah, correct, 2 by 2 is 1, correct. 
minus one zero, so this one goes away. C into e power minus one, ma'am. Ma'am, C so into is one only. Correct, correct. This is also minus one. C is given, no? Oh, sorry, C you can find, no? X of zero is equal to one is given. So you could have substituted. I didn't see that. Sorry. From here you can find what is C coming actually. When you are putting uh, T is equal to zero, you will get X of zero is equal to one. When you do what I am getting, one by X is equal to this becomes zero minus one, so it is plus two. Plus C. Ma'am, C is minus one. Ah, minus one. C is minus one actually. So you are getting this as minus e raised to minus one. This is minus e. Correct. Yes, ma'am. Minus e correct to two decimal places means you have to enter the numerical value. Okay. The solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to y square cos x plus cos y divided by uh, x sin y minus 2y sin x. Then y of pi by 2 is so at, at y by, that means you have to find c also. Let's check. I have a doubt whether it becomes exact or not. In the standard form means you can write it dy into x sine y minus 2y sine x minus or else I can write this the other way so that I don't have a minus and I don't make mistakes so I have y square cos x plus cos y into dx plus 2y sin x minus x sin y into dy is equal to 0. I think this and minus. Uh, minus I have adjusted in this, no? Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So your m is y square cos x plus cos y and your uh, n is y sin x minus x sin y. Just check dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. I think it should be. Exact ma'am it is. It's exact no? It looks like somewhere your derivative will match. Yes, equal, exact, then you're done. Once it is exact, it's simple. So the solution is integral m dx. Your m is y square cos x plus cos y dx plus, from here you have to take only those terms which does not contain x. So there is nothing. So you differentiate with respect to, sorry, integrate with respect to x. So it is y square sin x. Minus sin x. Integral of cos is plus sin. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, derivative of cos is minus. Just differentiate and see whether you, anytime you integrate, always do a cross check whenever you have sine and cos. Just differentiate and see whether you're getting the same function. That's it. So I differentiate this, I should get this. That's it. And y of pi by 2 is equal to 0 is given, so you can find your c also. 
So y is equal to zero, then uh, cos pi by two is equal to zero. C is zero, right? Yes, ma'am. So y square sine x plus x cos y. Is it coming anywhere in the solution, or is I made a mistake while writing the answer? Y square sine x plus x cos y is equal to pi by two is coming here. No, this has to be zero. I think. Maybe I have made a mistake while writing the options. Ma'am, isn't c pi by two? C is coming pi by two. Yes, ma'am. Cos pi by two is zero. No. Cos zero is one and x is pi by two. The first term cancels and the second term cancels pi by two. You have to put x is equal to pi by two, right? Ah, y yeah. is zero. Correct, 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 correct. X is equal to zero. So your first part becomes zero plus this becomes pi by two into cos of zero. Cos zero is one. Correct. Absolutely. So B is the answer. Y square sine x plus x cos y. The solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to minus x into x square plus y square minus ten by y into x square plus y square plus five, where y zero is equal to one. Yes. I think this also will come exact. Just check, yeah. I have a doubt because uh, yes, yes, two x y will come. I think derivative, do n by do y and do n by do x. I think two x y should come, but uh, is there an extra minus or something coming? This is not making it zero. No, I think, and it's polynomial. It's easy. Polynomial integration is also easy. So you get. Um, X into x square. So I'll just write it. Uh, x cube plus x y square minus 10x into dx plus x square. I think this is exact because you will get 2x y. I think the other term is independent. No. Am I correct? I think it has to come exact. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, because two x y both are plus. No, I had a doubt whether one is coming negative. In that case, it should have been different. No, this is two x y. Do m m is exact, ma'am. Exact, exact, correct. Do m by do y and do n by do x both. Two x y. So exact. Exact means it's done. So your solution is x raised to four by four plus x square y square by two minus five x square. From here, you have to take only the terms which is independent of. So that is y square y raised to four by four plus five y square by Is equal to c. Given a condition, y of zero is equal to one. So zero, 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 one by four. C is eleven by two, no? Eleven by four. Option D, ma'am. Answer is D. Correct. X raised to four. Yes. Two x square y square. Uh, plus y raised to four. Five four. So yes, twenty minus twenty x four. This is all plus or minus difference only. You have to be very careful. Minus less. D is the correct answer. Find the continuous solution, but how come this kind of problems comes or what in your jam? 
then you have to write the answer only numerical values you will write no what are the three kinds of problems that comes in a jam one is mcq one is msq and the other one is uh, only numerical numerical okay. answer type. numerical answers is expected no otherwise how do you type yeah. yes yes Uh, let y x be the continuous solution of the differential equation dy by dx plus y is equal to f x for x greater than or equal to zero, where f x is two in the interval zero to one and zero for x greater than or equal to one. Then y x is. Uh, it's given two parts f x. So you have dy by dx plus y is equal to two, and dy by dx plus y is equal to zero in the two intervals zero to one and one to infinity. So these are the two differential equations you have to solve. One is the case for uh, zero less than or equal to x less than one. dy by dx plus y is equal to two. And for x greater than or equal to one, dy by dx plus y is equal to zero. So anyway, it is linear only. No variable separable. No, it's variable separable. It's easy. dy by dx is equal to two minus y is what you get. given a condition y of 0 is equal to 0 yes so your solution in the first first interval is 2 minus 2 e raised to minus x in the interval 0 to 1 now in the second case it is dy by dx is equal to minus y for x greater than or equal to zero. It's variable separable only. So it is uh, log of y is equal to minus x plus c. So here what you have got from there you can get a condition in the boundary condition no one two so what is y of one here should match no it's continuous it is given it's a continuous solution they have given so it should match at the boundary one so y of one here is two minus two e raised to minus one so that you can use here to find c this has to match with this so here from this equation y of one is c e raised to minus 1. So this should be same as your uh, value here also. 
So that's why it is given continuous two minus two e raised to minus one. So your c is two into e minus. You get your solution as two into e minus one into e raised to minus x. So this is my solution in the interval x greater than or equal to one, and my solution in the interval zero to one is this. So is there any option given there? Two into one minus e raised to minus x in the first interval and two into e raised to minus ah yes, a option a no. Option A. So always check uh, the second condition is not given. Only the only one uh, condition, initial condition is given to you, y of zero. So at one you can you can equate it to find the uh, find the uh, value of c. Okay. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So I think first order is done. What's the time? Yeah, it's almost uh, towards ah, the end. First order is completely done with the set of questions which I had for first order. All the previous jam. See one more I question is there that will complete. Okay. The, I... the solutions of differential equation dy by dx is equal to sine two x y raised to one by uh, one by three satisfying y of zero is equal to zero. This is an MSQ I think is or R is given. Yes. How do I do that? Y raised to minus one by three. That's variable separable only. No? Ah, it's an easy question. So it is y raised to sorry, y raised to minus one by three dy is equal to sine two x dx. So we need to integrate and solve. So it is y raised to two by three by two by three is equal to minus cos two x by x. Sorry, by two. You are given a condition y of zero is equal to zero. So it is y raised to two by three to three by two is equal to. So you get here zero is equal to mm, minus half plus c is equal to half. You get no. One minus cos two x you get here. One minus cos two x by two two sine square. So sine square. Eight by twenty-seven. So, is there an answer there? So, why 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 do you want? Okay, plus or minus? Thank you, Bex. Yes, I think the answer is there. B and C. Yes, the answer is there. So thank you, Dr. Minirani, for this session on ordinary differential equations. Students, please note that uh, this uh, session problems from the area of ordinary differential equations. Uh, okay, many people find it uh, scared while seeing the question itself because there will be very complicated expressions in the questions in that. So a close acquaintance with the problems and different types of problems is very much needed. Then only you can successfully crack the questions in your exams. And also you should be very aware about the various types of the uh questions and uh, the different ways to attack the problem see you know sometimes an equation of one kind uh, can be solvable only if you proceed in a particular way otherwise you may be never get any solution and yes. your time will be wasted so that yes. point is to be very uh, you have to take care of it very uh, important uh, point um, so now uh, let us have a 
you, it, let's go for an interaction interactive session you can ask your questions or you can make your comments is in differential equations uh, cracking uh, the question is actually depending upon identifying the type see once you identify the type uh, and one equation can be solved in two different ways or three different ways also because sometimes linear itself may be uh, yeah, linear if you see like yeah you can crack another homogeneous you can crack it in two ways so which